So today we're looking at the 2018 ZX10R and replacing the standard exhaust with a new Lextech XP13C carbon fibre exhaust. But before you start, make sure you've got yourself a cup of coffee in a kitten cup. And you're going to start by removing the rear seat as normal and then removing the four Allen key bolts just to take the rear cowling off. Next you're going to remove the two 10mm bolts here and here and remove the rider seat. This will expose the servo which we're going to remove later. Now to remove the side fairing there's a number of clips fastening the fairing. One located just behind the front wheel which you can remove using the Phillips head screwdriver. A push clip underneath the belly pan. Four Allen key headed bolts which need removing on the outside of the fairing. And three plastic push clips just on the inside by the radiator. Once you've removed all the fasteners you can just peel away the fairing but be careful of the clips because they can break easily. Now you've exposed the exhaust system you can see that we're going to remove everything behind the O2 sensor. There are just two bolts holding the actual exhaust to the chassis but we'll come back to that in a second. First we need to remove the cables from the servo motor located under the seat and you'll see that it requires a specific torque spit with a hole cut out in the centre. Luckily I had one and I was able to undo the single bolt, remove the wheel and then uncouple the uh, wires. You can actually remove the whole servo taking the retaining screws out from underneath the seat unit. Once you've got the motor out it makes it easier to remove the retaining clip here and then you can just pop the wires off the servo itself. Now the servo is loose you can see the wires that run down the side of the fuel tank which are held in place with a single cable tie. You'll need to cut this to be able to pull the wires through. Pulling the wires through is pretty tricky as you can see. I had to pull them quite firmly through. On the left hand side of the frame there seems to be some kind of mount that you have to pull them through and they get stuck quite easily so take your time uh, and be careful not to break them as you pull them through in case you need to refit them later on. With the exhaust cables now pulled through you can loosen the pinch clip off the front of the exhaust as you can see here and remove the retention bolt from above. Now you can remove the 10mm bolt on the pillion footrest and gently pull the exhaust off of the chassis. So this is the Lextech XP13C carbon fibre exhaust kit, comes with a link pipe and some exhaust sealant. Before you get excited and start lubricating, make sure you remove and retain the original aluminium crush nut. You'll need this if you plan to refit your exhaust system at any point. The O2 sensor sits before the exhaust that we've removed, and so Lextech provide a blanking bolt that needs to be fitted to the link pipe prior to fitting the exhaust itself, which I'm just lubricating up with some handy exhaust sealant. Next up, slide the exhaust clamp over the link pipe, lubricate the link pipe with some of the exhaust sealant, and slide onto the bottom of the exhaust manifold. Lextech provide a new exhaust clamp for the new exhaust itself and a mounting kit, although once lubricated and fitted onto the, the bike itself, I didn't use the mounting kit. I thought it was far tidier using the original bolt that was uh, bolted onto the, the OEM system, as you can see here. Um, but the additional hanger would allow you to hang it lower to keep your pillion foot away from the exhaust if you wanted to but obviously it's your bike so get it set up and see what works best for you. So this is the exhaust fitted to the bike and all tightened up ready to go. So beside cosmetics and sound what is the benefit? Well the wife weighs in at 58.4 kilos dry. Add on the standard system comes in at 65.2 kilograms so that's 6.8 kilograms total for the standard exhaust and next up with the Lextec she comes in at 60.4 giving a weight saving over the OEM of 4.8 kilos. So after refitting the servo with no wires um, I've warmed the bike up and I'm ready to take it out for its first test ride. At a later date I'll be fitting the servo buddy and then have the bike dyno to prevent any errors showing on the dash. Oh, 
overall great quality products for a great price. Um, I'll let you know how I get on with some flyby videos for the sound later on. And of course we'll be doing some dyno. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, share. Thanks, bye.